I'm this old stoner and uh, I'm fixing to have a fart attack. If you don't know what a fart attack is, that's uh, just having fun with art live. Give me a minute. I'll be back. I'm a little nervous. It's been a few days since I've done this. And the last one I did, I didn't really like too much, to be honest. Probably gonna paint over it. I don't know about you guys, but I've been missing Mr. Mark Fun Jones. I'm really curious to see what uh, he's got cooked up. <coughs> been enjoying his wood turning, and that for sure takes some time. So, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? This stuff is, uh, hope people aren't getting bored of what I'm doing. Sometimes it seems like it, but as long as I'm not bored, that's cool. And I think I just want to kind of do something a little bit different. So, this is what I'm going to attempt on my black canvas tonight. But I don't know that I'm, I'm not going to do the whole body there. I'm just going to do one of those half a heads. But that's what I'm going to be looking at when I'm doing it. Let me go uh, fire up some music. What music do I have set up over here? Let me just play this, uh, this folder stuff. <laughs> to more take advantage. Oh, and I, I'm just about ready to mail out some stuff, too. Is this a new one? Oh, yeah, I got myself some more of these little uh, paint pens. Let me see if I can... Uh, more saw Patriot was talking about. He wants to see me do some more uh, uh, cards and drawing. I was thinking these are kind of like that. Oh look, it's kind of like a little uh, computer. You know, there's the stuff that they got going on there. kind of makes him look like he's frowning, but he doesn't look so much like he's got a frown to me. He doesn't have any eye. And then I wanted to do it. I'm trying to do something a little bit different from what I've been doing.
squirt some white out here. A little bit of water. thinking about going back to the uh, kind of abstract landscapes. Hey, for Night World. Yeah, I'm trying to do a uh, Watchmen thing. I've been thinking about doing Watchmen for a while. Like I have, like, have a whole list. I've been writing down a, a list of stuff. And I've also got this little thing I'm um, I was messing around with my camera. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. I didn't realize I had so much water in that mop brush. Maybe I should be using a different brush for this part. But I was thinking that I could probably, yeah, this one's probably too thick. What should I use for that? Let me try one of these. This is some, I guess these are supposed to be like a, I'm not exactly sure what you'd call this brush, but I just wanted to kind of like, just kind of like give an indication of, you know, just all the muscles and stuff, just, you know, real, just spot, splotchy, you know, just kind of put some splotches on here. And then I want to hit, kind of hit it with some blue and stuff. Oh yeah, I wanted to try and give it like sort of a sparkly background too. Yeah, I just start off with the white and then my shadows and stuff, I just use like different kind of blues and stuff. And I decided on this one, rather than fill all that in with like the black acrylic like I've been doing, um, I just leave it. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Uh, get a little brush out here and splatter it because this kind of has like a and you know what I think I'll actually get some of my uh, gesso out here because it's like really fluid I haven't done any little splattering with it in a while it splatters really good so I'm going to splatter some of it on there to try and create some sort of a uh, you know, uh, energy. Give it some more energy going on there. Let's see. Let me splatter it over here on my. Yeah, that look good. Oh yeah. Oh, it's always cool, oh, man. I like splattering. I'm. I might have to go back to doing some more uh, real abstract stuff where I'm just like going to town with some crazy stuff like that. Oh, I want to just like really get it, go to town. Oh, and I should probably pull out a, a sock and do some more of that texture technique. That texture technique is pretty cool too. Oh, look how that, getting some like stringy stuff. Oh yeah, that looks pretty electric there. I'm going to have to like do some more like little splattering with some blue. I got some good blue too. Um, 
do I should probably just go ahead and squirt some of that new blue out here I got a big old tube of this stuff this is what I want to like be using on a lot of that let me squirt some in here and see uh, see if I can get some cool little blue splatters going on here um, I want to be careful not to contaminate it too much I've got this other palette here that is really cool Oh, I get splattering me in the face. Uh, let me just go. I'll just go ahead and use this to splatter some more of that on there. And then I probably ought to. Oh, that doesn't splatter as good as this other. Oh, maybe if I wet it down a little bit. Uh oh, I feel like I'm starting to get kind of out of control here. I do that sometimes. That was good. That's enough of that. Oh, look at that. It kind of picked up on some of that little blue that got in there. There we go. Yeah. I just kind of turn that more into a I got going here. You don't have to really make it too uh, defined, just kind of give kind of like a little impression. Oh, I know. It's just some shadows and so stuff. Deep. kind of cool doesn't have to be perfect it's kind of give like a little impression of something going on over here just call it abstract and then it's just fun that's the main thing main thing just have some fun with it. okay I want to do something here with this face I'll maybe go to some, uh, I need to kind of go, maybe go into a darker blue. Yeah, I got some darker blue going on.
Hey, Lisa. What's up? Oh, it's pretty easy. I mean, really. I mean, uh, in some ways, you could kind of, you, you know, use what I'm doing here as kind of a... I mean, it doesn't have to be anything. I mean, and I don't know if it, it, it kind of seems like what I've been doing here by doing like a half a face seems kind of like a trick to try and make something see a little bit easier. And then you only have to do just a, a I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm having fun doing it. And this is a lot more cooler than the... Uh, what do I need to do in here? I need to... Oh, I needed to go to a darker blue. Okay, I should probably put that brush away. And probably put this one away, too. And let me pull out this... Uh, is that lid on there? Don't want to spill this. Oh, was that the end of my little... Uh... No, nope, I hear something else going on. What's going on now? I don't know what's going on. Let me get back over here. Let's see. I want to get a darker blue. That's what I want to do. Let's see. And see if this 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 little palette that I'm using here is going to work. I mean, I haven't done anything in a few days. And I'm fixing to find out if this paint is still moist enough to where I can use it for like little detailing and stuff. Let's see. I like using rounds, um, but let's see, what do I want to do here, a round would probably, do I want to work on him first, well I just want to see if this, oh no, this paint isn't really, it's kind, I might be able to use it, let me see, yeah, this didn't work quite the way I was hoping it was going to. Most of that blue seems like it dried. It's got a big crust on it. So that didn't work the way I was hoping it would. So, but I, it will work. It has worked. So let me see. Yeah, I can kind of get it to work. Ooh, should I try and do that with freehand? Freehand the little circle? I'm going to attempt it. That kind of came out alright. Let's see if I can get some of this other blue working in here. Let's see. Yeah, I can't just use this to, and that was the last of this, this, okay, let me see, if, let me get back in here. Wow. Chin down, chin, little neck action on there, shoulder, a few little muscles going on here. I'm going to do like that for a Some packs goes away the, the abs. I don't know about that. A little disappointed in myself. I'm kind of rushing it too. 
Let me see. Let me get another brush out here. Let me get a uh, little round brush. Um, what could I do with that? Maybe. I wonder. I wonder if I can use. Can I use that little technique to get that make that work look a little bit better? I could probably do that because I'm going to come back with some black and then some white highlights too. Let me just kind of do that. Soften it up a little bit. Yeah. Soften that up a little bit. And I think uh, just black and white. So this little palette didn't work as well as I was hoping it would. So let me just get out some regular black. Oh, I was kind of bummed out. Nobody really watches my little uh, time lapse. I got another idea, though. I'm going to do my time lapse, but do them even faster with this. And maybe talk over them? I don't know. What do I like? I like these round brushes. Do I want a big round brush or a little round brush? This, I'm going to try this one. I got I got a, I bought myself like a new notebook too that is really cool. I might need to wait for that to dry. Sometimes I kind of get in a hurry. Uh, maybe I get in too big of a hurry. I'm not sure. I never really know. But I like doing them fast. That way I don't think about them too much. And I can always come back over them later. And I have to admit that he kind of looks a lot like Silver Surfer. When you really get down to it, he looks a lot like the Silver Surfer. I'm sorry. Ah, let me start. I know what I got over here. That's right. I've got, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is this it? There we go. That's what I want to be listening to. I've a couple of folks named Jones to do this song. And hopefully you guys can hear that. Hmm, this would probably would be a lot easier if it was laying down. Great big bin, what the ducks and geese were kept there in. He said a couple of you can grease my chin before I leave this town. Oh, town, oh, town, oh, he said a couple of you can grease my chin before I leave this town. Oh, you grab the gray goose by the neck, and he throw the duck across his back, and he didn't mind the quack. Johnny ran to the top of the hill, blew his horn, blowed loud and shrill. He 
And let's see, and then just some white, some white highlights for good measure. Oh, here, yeah. that's what we'll do. I'll go with this brush, a big, thick round. White. I'm going to have to come back on that white. Ah, let me stop there. I'm thinking I better stop right there. If I take it too much farther, it might uh, get out of control, a little bit too much out of control. Oh yeah, I'm already getting all like, contaminated here and really tempted to do more and I shouldn't. I better call it good. Yeah, I'm going to call it good. Look at that. I said, I'm going to call it good, and then I go right back on top of it. Ooh, I didn't even pull out a putty knife, a palette knife on this one. Stop it. Stop it. I'm done. I'm done. I got to call that good. If I keep messing with it anymore, I'll just totally tear it up. Hey, you guys have a great evening. I'm calling that it for this stream. Oh, wait. I see some more. I see something else. I'll, I'll mess around with it later. That was kind of fun. That was fun. That was fun art. And remember, have fun with your art. All right.